Hello and welcome to the 42nd tutorial in the Coca 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at detecting when multiple touches have begun. We'll be using the source code from the 41st tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Coca 2D JS provides us with all the desired functionality for touch recognition in the form of events. We will take a look at detecting when the user has touched the screen using multiple fingers. You will need a device or simulator to test this. If you aren't interested in developing for devices and you only want to make a game for the web browser, don't worry as we will also cover mouse events later in this series. So let's go ahead and open up our app.js. Yeah, so, sorry about that. Uh, ah, let's open up a new find window. Let's go to desktop app.js. Here we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a function within here. It's going to be on touches began. And it's a function, so colon function. And this takes two parameters touches, because we're doing multiple touch, is plenty braces. And then within here, I'm going to do a cc.log. Touch began, and then I'm going to put plus touches zero dot get location x. What I'm going to do is copy and paste this, change this to a one, and literally just put a two at the end here so we can help distinguish these a little better. So now if we just minimize this, I'm going to open it up within Xcode and run it on a simulator. Ooh, click space. I just like having Windows. If you click enter, it opens up a file or a folder. I know you can do it by click, clicking command zero, but it's not the same thing. Okay, so let's just. That was a weird resize that it did. Okay, uh, iPhone 4 is fine. Let's run it. We'll see some logs here when we actually click on the screen. So let's move this out of the way. The way to simulate multi-touch on a simulator, if you click Alt and click on the screen, you can simulate multi-touch. And there you can see touch began and touch began too. So if we just do it again, and we're going to do it on the opposite ends, we click it and then it says touch began at 53 and 905. So 53 was the one over here near zero. The 905 was the one near the end, aka 960. But I want to show you what happens if I just click without doing multi-touch. It gets the touch began, but it says touch is undefined because there's no longer a multi touch. And this is a little task for you to do. I want you to look at how, uh, using JavaScript, how you can check touches and see if it exists, see if there's a value there. And if there isn't, don't do anything because obviously you don't want to have these sort of errors and warnings. We now have the means to detect when multi touch has begun. Also, another little task for you to do is to detect the Y coordinate uh, and think about touch events on the different screen sizes we set up earlier in this series. Locally, normalizing the coordinates is one way, but there are others. Plus, there's other methods instead of just getting the location. Check out the Cocos 2DJS API guide for more information. In the next tutorial, we will cover detecting when multiple touches have moved. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.